Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. As we all know, due to the US's chip control on China, TSMC, Samsung and other wafer factories are unable to provide wafer foundry services to Chinese companies as usual. The globalization of the chip industry is hindered, and China has to develop its own chip foundry industry, thereby reducing its dependence on foreign supply chains. In order to curb the development of the domestic chip industry, the U.S. has used all means to control the export of relevant semiconductor equipment. Equipment suppliers including Tokyo Electronics of Japan and ASML of the Netherlands have been affected, and the development of the domestic chip industry has been forced to embark on a route of localization and autonomy from equipment. According to the U.S. script, our country should have had a shortage of chip supply long ago, and then American companies took the opportunity to increase the price of products to complete the harvest. But the other party ignored the wisdom from the East. Advanced lithography machines could not be imported, so we produced chip products comparable to advanced processes through iteration and improvement of chip foundry technology. In the summer of 2023, Huawei suddenly launched the Mate 60 Pro series of products, and a Kirin 9000S chip was removed from the inside of the mobile phone, shocking the whole of America. In order to investigate the source of the chip, the US did not hesitate to put pressure on ASML of the Netherlands, asking it to investigate what products the lithography machines exported to Chinese companies were manufacturing. But the result was surprising. ASML did not find out who was producing chips for Huawei through its own background data. Then the result is obvious. There must have been domestic equipment in production at that time but it was not disclosed in time for various reasons. The organization that provides chip foundry for Huawei has not been publicly disclosed to date. However, judging from the localization of lithography equipment, it is very likely that ASML will not be needed to ship to us in the future including advanced EUV lithography systems, there have been a lot of good news in China. This is really what Zhang Zhaozhong, the director of the bureau, said, China's future chip products will be all over the streets, even 3 nanometers and 5 nanometers products. In fact, as early as September 2024, Shanghai Microelectronics disclosed a technical patent for an extreme ultraviolet radiation device. At that time, the research and development team of Shanghai Microelectronics successfully extended the mirror life of the extreme ultraviolet device to 1,000 hours with this technology and the pollution of charged particles was also reduced by 90%. It took the Netherlands nearly 15 years to solve the relevant technical problems at that time. Unexpectedly, it was perfectly solved by Chinese engineers using hydrogen radical reaction technology. Harbin Institute of Technology solved the problem of energy conversion efficiency of discharge plasma technology, directly cut the volume of the light source system by 40%, and greatly reduced the space occupied and manufacturing cost of related equipment. The Shanghai Light Source Team 
has made important progress in small accelerator experiments, laying the foundation for the industrial application of the next generation of free electron laser, FEL, technology routes, and further enriching the technical reserves of domestic EUV lithography machines. Now the good news of domestic EUV lithography machines has been reported one after another, which has confirmed the news that the three major domestic technology routes are being developed in parallel. Combined with the current localization rate of parts and components of 28 nanometer lithography equipment has reached about 90%, the next step of chip equipment put into production by related domestic industries will be aimed at the advanced foundry market below 14 nanometers. Therefore, I would say that the bold prediction made by the bureau chief is about to come true today. The essence of the U.S. chip control is to monopolize the high-end chip industry chain and continue to make excessive profits. However, after the domestic industry has achieved technological breakthroughs, the restrictive measures taken by the US will in turn curb the development of its own semiconductor industry. Even the US Semiconductor Association believes that the relevant restrictive measures will cause the U.S. chip industry to reduce profits by more than 120 billion yuan. When the United States is keeping a close eye on 7 nanometer and 5 nanometer advanced chips, Huawei has achieved curve rescue through the domestic industry chain the Tsangjia automotive AI chip developed based on the RISC-V architecture has a computing power 50% higher than NVIDIA Auron, but the manufacturing cost is only one-third of the other. Yangtze memory has greatly increased the data storage density per unit area through the 3D NAND solution, and even overseas giants such as Samsung have to use its patented technology. In some semiconductor fields, Chinese companies have begun to change from catching up to leading the world. Today, it is only a matter of time before high-end chip manufacturing technology and equipment break through. When Chinese companies have the ability to produce 5 nanometer and 3 nanometer chips, the disruptive results brought about by these technologies will benefit more people. What do you think about this? Welcome to leave a message and discuss.